I would say wel welcome everyone into our first little Zoom Zoom chat into analysing some teams and just some general chat about fantasy. We're getting pretty close to our team list, so uh, we'll just welcome in. We got we got Matt, we got Big T, and then and then Damo's not uh hasn't got his video working, but um welcome guys. Thanks for thanks for joining us. All good. All right. No worries, man. So whose team we got first? We got COVID thirteen. Yeah, it's my team. All right, this is Maddie. So let's uh let's tear it to shreds. T, what do you uh, what do you oh. got on this so far? Let's uh, let's have a little little talk through from top to bottom. See if you let me know if there's any uh any players you you're really liking or not. Well, sure about. This actually was close to my uh, team that I had before I sent it in, um, but I've heard that Leota is now out of favour of starting, and Eisenhuth is uh, favour of starting at prop for him. So I'm not too sure if do we think Leota if he gets a bench time still worth it. At his price? Where did you hear that? Sorry. Um, I saw it on a podcast. I can't remember whose podcast it was. It was. I can link. I'll, I'll link. link. Yeah. Yeah, talking link. But um, I don't think it was confirmed. But th they definitely said something about Eisenhuth being in for big minutes this year. I think. Mm. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that'll be interesting in terms of like the, the minutes splitting between Eisenhuth, Lenu, um, and Leota. How that's how that's going to work? Yeah, because because Eisenhuth does play the big minutes if he if he gets a chance. So. Gonna be interesting. What do we? Um, yeah, I have to wait for Team Tuesday on that one. Yeah, what do we think their bench yeah, is gonna yeah, look like? I think it's gonna be Lanyu, Martin, um, Tyrone May, and Leota if he doesn't start. Okay, so May is the utility. Yeah, yeah. I'd say so. Yeah, the interesting one looks like maybe Cable might start too, which. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, I think I literally just heard on TK's podcast again um, that Capewell is starting in 12, and then when Kickow goes off and Martin comes on, Capewell goes to Kickow's edge. Yeah, and I, I think that makes more sense. Like, if you want Martin, obviously, his gun, Capewell's a gun, Kickow's gun, you want yeah. them all playing at least sort of 60 minutes, I'd say. Yeah, but, yeah um, well, would you guys um, consider Capewell if he starts or oh. without? Yeah, I got him in now. You got him in now? Yeah, I had him in and then I took him out just then just because oh, I was trying to squeeze in someone else. But I reckon he's probably going to be a good buy, but it's kind of hard at that price. And also with Martin, you could they could swap him. So i a bit worried yeah, about that. exactly, yeah. Like, it could, it could be like they could just rotate every two weeks, you know, like Capo starting and Martin starting. And like, they just, I don't know. Yeah. It's just too confusing for me. So I just completely stay away from it. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably the smartest option. Like that's the thing with with Cable, if he plays eighty minutes, he's his average is of fifty five. So that puts him like what seventeen points undervalued. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. But I don't think you'll get that. That's that's the worry. So, but yeah, it's probably probably a Panthers one just to to wait and see um, what they're gonna get. But what do you guys think of Linu? I liked him. Um, I liked him more. Uh, I, I, I heard yeah. about the Leota Eisenhuth uh, minutes thing, and I kind of got a little bit worried, but. I think I think if he gets thirty five minutes, his PPM will get him like around that thirty five. Yeah, yeah, for his price, it's just like a bargain. I think. Yeah, I think for three hundred and seven k, it's like it's a like. It's, I, 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 yeah, I don't even think it's a gamble. Eh? I think even if he gets maybe like thirty minutes, that's still enough for him to make some kind of price rises. Yeah, and it, I, for me, it kind of reminds me of of Rudolph and 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 Tenor Brown from last year. Mm, yeah. Um, and obviously, just probably slightly, yeah. slightly more expensive, but he's already had a bunch of games we've seen him play, whereas we hadn't seen the other guys. So. Yeah, he also looks yeah. really good in the trial. I yeah. think um, they might want to give him some more minutes this year. Yeah, and if yeah, at a bonus, he gets close to forty minutes, and then and he makes crazy money. So yeah, I think he's he's a lock in my side currently, um, and I can see he's in, in yours too, Maddie. What else we got down there? We got so he's starting pretty heavy in the edges with Crichton and, and Harris. Talk me through that. Um, I just didn't have a, essentially I had initially Harris, I definitely want because he's going to play probably, you know, majority of minutes, um, more likely than not, he'll play 80 minutes and, you know, he's just a, like last season, he was just like a solid contributor, um, and he doesn't have to play origin. So that's the mindset of him. And then Crichton. I did have Crichton as well in the in the mids, and then I ended up switching some stuff around and put him back in the edge because I feel like for me there wasn't a solid second edge option that I really liked. 
Um, I mean, there's Fafita, but I feel like he could be very inconsistent. Um, yeah. Whereas I'd rather have the consistency of the those two boys in the middle. Um, and then, you know, if they're getting 50, 60 every week, then, you know, it's just set and forget. You don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah. Whereas I figure if I went for Fafita or someone else lower down the, the spectrum, then I might have to chop and change a bit. Yeah, that's fair. So that's kind of why I went for those two there. Um, <clears throat> and I mean, like another option, like if Leota didn't, didn't um, end up getting the starting role, I could switch that around. Initially, like yesterday I had, last night I had, instead of Cleary, I had an option with DCE. Um, but I ended up, and then like, so I could essentially go Leota to possibly Tino and then Cleary to DCE. But yeah, it's one of those things that DCE is like a set and forget. I'm sorry, Cleary is a set and forget captain. Yeah. And it's like DCE probably could be. But I would feel like I'd probably be tempted if I had DCE. I'd be tempted to just rotate the captains between Crichton, Harris, and DCE, whoever had the better fixture. Yeah, I hate um, captaincy rule. <laughs> what do we? Um, yeah. What do we do? We think Foran takes any of DCE's points. Yeah, that's I what think I was thinking. Bit. Like, you, he's going to take some kick meters, surely. You'd assume. Maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe a hundred yeah. or something. Mm. Yeah. Do you what do you, have you considered Claw Matangi for Leota or no? Nah? I haven't. Um, I mean, if he is he getting gonna get, gonna get a starting role? Uh, well, it's between I him think, and host, right? Yeah, and I think Claw Matangi is over him just like by a little bit, but they also frees up like 100k. That's yeah, start, I suppose it? like and he gets right like, now, I don't like know him. where I'd where I'd be putting the extra 100k. Yeah. Um, like ideally, well, they, I'd want to be upgrading the uh, yeah, not yeah. downgrading. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Um, like Leota to Tino or something like that. What do we think of Tino? Are we all Leota or no, oh mate. If you've seen me in the if you've seen me in the Discord, I've been preaching Welch over Tino for the whole for, <laughs> the, for like the whole preseason. Um, I, I think I think Welch is going to end up being better than Tino, like averagely. I just don't like I just don't understand his role at the Titans right now. Like new club, I mean he's a beast. Like I, I don't really want to watch the Titans and not have Defi or Tino, but yeah, it's going to be a scary one. Like if you, yeah, uh, yeah, it's got, yeah saying, because Tino, yeah, God, yeah. Saying, like if he plays if he plays like over 55, 60 minutes, I'm going to be kicking myself. But if he I'm plays under the that, then I'm just going to be like. Happy with what I decision. <laughs> yeah, I if he like stays on for 60 minutes, own. I'm turning the TV off. Yeah, I feel like Titans are going to own like three or four of those guys or like none of them and, and just hate yeah. watching yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you can could, you could make a case for <laughs> Kelly, for Fafida, for Tino, for Fogarty, like this uh, Brimson, far out. So, yeah, yeah. Um, it just, I think it's just going to depend yeah. how they go. If, they, if they're a top six team, I think they all score really well. If they're not, then, then I think they underwhelm a bit. The problem with Defi and Tino, though, is that they can literally be on the 50-meter line and make a 20-point run, Yeah, like Tino did in the trial. Like, And then you're just like, wow, well, what the hell? Like, They could play for 40 minutes and score like 60 because they just have one barnstorming run that leads to a try. That's Tamalolo, right? Mm. Yeah. It could be just trucking along okay. He always has that one big run every game where you just like, go something, yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, where they just like, they jump from like 17 points to like 40 and you're like, oh, what the hell? Yeah. And it's scary to watch, but yeah, it's, it's so good to watch at the same time. It's going to be one of those we, things. It's going to be hard to watch the Titans without a Titan, for sure. Yeah. 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 A couple, yeah. maybe, like, far out. Um, okay, rest of the team, what do we think of Opacek? Uh, I'm not kidding. I'm debatable on him. Yeah. I just kind of chucked him in as a placeholder at the moment. Um, yeah. But it could be, like, Roberts, or it could be... Yeah, it could be testing you. I could move him into the centres and then I'll move Laurie into the wing fullback yeah. um, if he gets to start. Yeah, cool. So it's kind of fluid. Yeah, very much a, move, a movable spot at the moment. There's a bunch of guys around that price, eh? We'll say, yeah. we'll say court hearing about Tissy New. If he misses round one, potentially, like, he probably won't, but if he misses round one, is New even with it? Like, with no probably DCP? Not. Oh, actually, maybe. Maybe in the EMG or 
his unlicensed, <laughs> unlicensed driving. <laughs> Crack up. Well, I don't think he gets suspended anyway because Corey had a way to know that a high grade um, drink driving, didn't he? And he didn't get suspended. Well, Canberra was, suspended him, right? by coach, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, surely new doesn't get done by the integrity unit for that. Yeah, I, think <laughs> yeah, I don't think it will. Okay. Um, all right. Only other one was I was going to ask about was Ben Travojevic on the on the bench. Is he just a placeholder currently, or? Yeah, he's just a placeholder, just to kind of chuck in there. Um, but yeah, that's probably fluid. And yep. Schuster, I'm I'm like you know chucked in there at the moment. I'm kind of wondering would I end up downgrading to someone cheaper to just, if I need the money, I'll probably move him to someone cheaper. But at the moment I've just figured chuck him in there. Yeah. I really wish uh, Schuster was playing. That guy was awesome. In the trial. Oh, yeah, he was so good, bro. He was so electric. Mm. Him and Laurie were both amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, other than that, I'm pretty, the side looks pretty good to me. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's a pretty good, good team. Too. Easy. Well done, Matty. Sweet. Thanks guys. <laughs> what else are you getting here? All right, slide this over a little bit. This one's mine. That fits nicely. All righty, who we got? Jackie uh, Jackie Turpin. Interesting one, hey? What a name. It's obviously all reliant on uh, Pakes, if he's yeah. named at 14. Um, if he is, I'll probably take him out and swap some things around, maybe go Macca or, um, or something else. But I think at the moment, I like Turpin. He looks really good in the trial, so I think he'll get some good minutes. He looked great. He really stood out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He even kicked out a dummy half, which was really cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, what's his average? 80 minute games or 62? So. Yeah, yeah, something insane. Like, he's just in, yeah. insanely yeah. underpriced if he averages 80 minutes. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. Well, let's see. He's definitely on my radar, too. Um, Colin Matangi again, team list base. Fafida. Yeah, does anyone think he's going to average about 60? I, I think, think so. he's going to average. Yeah, I think he'll average close to sixty. Uh, I think yeah. he average like fifty-five to sixty. Does anyone follow him closely in defence on the trial? Well, I barely oh, saw him, bro. Like I honestly, like even in that All Stars game as well, I don't understand how he scored sixty-one. I barely saw anything he just that he does did. It, hey, he just gets the points. It's crazy. He just gets, It's like it's like Teddy with his um, line breaks. You know, it's just like you don't understand where they come from. Yeah. yeah, what I th- what I thought was like pretty interesting is um Fogarty kept passing to Fafita like over and over and over. Like he did it like I think maybe three times in one set at one point. So I think he's gonna get like heaps of ball. Um yeah. that's and he just kind makes of reason. Something out of nothing, doesn't he? Yeah, exactly. Yes, fair enough. Like he's just gonna be someone I think he's gonna get like four to five tackle buffs a game to go along with thirty tackles and hundred and fifty meters and that's that's his Yeah, yeah like yeah, there's, there's potentially like more value in other guys, but I just think not having him, I just couldn't watch any games over the weekend. I just feel so scared. I just, yeah, I can't do it. If he's 800k, um, do people pick him up? Oh, maybe not, no. If he's, if, he's, if he's 800k, I'd rather cry him to. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think the 700k is, what, is what's getting people. Yeah. Yeah. What about here? What about he, um, like, go on. No, 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 you go, bro. I was just going to say, what about someone like Alex Swal compared to the feeder? I think it's a wait and see for me in terms of minutes because I have no idea what's going to go on with that rotation, um, especially with the two new forwards. And um, there's a bunch of young forwards in that trial uh, in the Tigers game that I think will be pushing for spots as well. So I kind of just want to wait and see with the Tigers forward rotation. Yeah. What's everyone's thoughts on uh, Luciano this year? Oh, he looks, he looks so good, hey? <laughs> he looks so good in the trials, bro. I had him in my team for a little bit, but... Got, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I looked at him. Super stoked. Super after, last, after last year's roller coaster, like, I just couldn't get him out. Every time I would look to trade him out, <laughs> he goes and scores an 80, and I'm like, well, I have to keep him. I, got yeah, I took him out like, before keep... before that, the who's huge scores. I was, like, <laughs> devastated. Yeah, there was a week. Yeah, like, and then I ended up keeping him for the whole year. <laughs> There was that week there week where we could change him and, and then he got the 80 and the 100 or whatever he got. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There was with it. And then you're like, well, his break even is so low. Well, I have to keep him. Yeah, I don't mind him as an option, actually, this year. Do you think he's improved? Like, improved as a player or is it just... Yeah. Just, yeah, they play... For the sure. I think, he looks way, I think he looks way better than last year. Like, yeah, I, think I he looks agree. A lot he definitely looks a lot further and slimmer. Um, I think he's going to be uh, one of the Tigers attacking Gunze. For yeah, the forwards, for sure. when he 
especially when they're like five five meters out from the line. Yeah, well, what seven hundred and five k? Do we think he averages what mid fifties or? <sighs> yeah, well, for seven hundred and five k, do you just find the five k to go to DC? Well, I reckon uh, if you you could probably like you, you could throw in another like five points. I reckon on him just because like I reckon he's gonna get like another offload or tackle break like each game. So you, you can probably see him going like that 56, 57, 58 kind of, even higher potentially. Like I think his ceiling is extremely high. Yeah, I agree with that. If he's going to play 80, that's a lot of time for him. Yeah, he's averaging what, two to three tackle busts a game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what, he's got six tries last year, probably yeah, somewhere there, seven, eight tries. And yeah, there's a yeah. chance, but I don't know. I, just think I mean, last few decent la- options there. Yeah, last year at his price, when he was like 610k, when he was scoring those 40s, you could kind of cop it. But if he's at 705k scoring 40s, then there's a problem there. It looks like he's like more confident in second row now. Like he kind of, he knows that if he runs at the line and kind of um, offloads, he can take on like three people and still get that ball away. Mm. So, um, well, yeah, like, like you alluded to though, there's just, there's just a lot more competition there now. So yeah. he, he kind of has to play well. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a chance he does better. He's, he's, I think I don't think he scores under 53. No. no. Mm. There's a chance no. of a slight upside. Um, let's talk. Let's talk Brooks. What do we think? <laughs> I, like I, 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 like I, don't I don't know about Brooks. I think I'm the only one that's anti Brooks in the Discord. Really? What's he priced at again? He's priced at like 40. 544. Ish. 41, I think. 40 or 41, yeah. I've gone. Um, yeah, I reckon down, forty-five down easy. Mm. Now the reason, yeah. like, I think that he, like, obviously, you know, a lot of people have talked about it, but the kick meters and the overall, uh, like, try assist and everything that he does, like, was low last year because of Benji, and he had like a really just like season. He got benched, I think. Um, so, like, this year, I think now that the team's basically his, like, he's just gonna do really well and potentially goal kicking as well. Yeah. Whoa! Did a a d kick when he comes back? But there was a time uh, when I was uh, field and he it took yeah. turns, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I see him pretty close to an RTS in terms of just no attacking, so no try assist, no tries for RTS last year. I think he's got sort of that 8 to 10 points in value, which probably Brooks has similar. That's my thoughts. Yeah, I could see him averaging like low 50s this year. Yeah. Well, he just puts him just out could of you... the keeper category, but... Mm. It's interesting. Um, no, no Avarillo? Uh, uh, no, I don't have Avarillo at the moment just because I'm a little bit worried about that injury in round one because, like, you know, when a player's kind of injured three weeks before the season, they might, like, think Wakem, um is doing pretty well. But um, if he ends up going well, then I might put him in, but I think I'm just going to wait and see with Avarillo. That's fair. See what happens with team list. Um, Momorowski, what are, we, what are our thoughts? Uh, oh, well, the thought man. by Momorowski, I think, is mainly just... I looked at his stats, and obviously he scored a lot of attacking stats in the last couple of years, but I think it, at Panthers, it wouldn't be unrealistic for him to keep that up. Yeah. Um, and in, in the trial, he did score some good base stats as well. Yeah, I was, I was interested in that. at 37 points without doing a lot from what I could see, which yeah. is good. Um, he's definitely on my radar at 368. Has the, has the kid even played for the Tigers? Like, oh, it yeah, seems like he loves getting loaned out. Holy yeah, hell. I know, right? Is he ever gonna play? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but I mean, but I mean, if I'm talking about it, like Tigers to Storm, okay, I'm taking that, and then Tigers to Panthers, like yeah, yeah, what yeah. the hell? <laughs> yeah. He's definitely on, a, on on my radar anyway. Um, how's the bench looking, Simkin? Well, how many minutes do you reckon? Fifty thirty. So, I I mean, it could be. I'm really not sure what's going to happen because I think. It could end up being 40-40, or it could be one of them kind of goes to like a lock position potentially, or something like that. But I think um, they definitely need him on the bench because um, both of them were really, really good in the trial. Yeah, I agree. Um, that'll be an interesting one. And at, at worst, you, if he gets a bigger role, you can pick him up in second or third round if you're not going to start with him. Yeah. Yeah. Face yeah. um, price, though. So. Stefano, what are we having with him? Some A similar role to someone like Lenu from last year? Yeah. yeah. 25, 30 minutes, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking 30 minutes for him. 30 minutes. Is he's a, he's a tig- are you a Tigers fan, man? 
yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, Tigers I, I, players. Look, uh, there's a lot of um, <laughs> kind of placeholders on the on that bench. Like it depends, obviously TLT, but a lot of I, I, it's so it's so weird though because all the Tigers players I see value in. I could name like half the team and they all have value. Yeah, that's so true. When I was making my yeah. team, I was like, so many Tigers, but like you don't want to leave any of them out. Yeah, exactly. Um, but like from from my team, there was a couple of players that I was kind of like I was really trying to get in there, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. Um, one of them was like Capewell, and then another one was Alvaro as well, um, and Lenu. So um, yeah. We'll find out what happens there. This one's an interesting one. 390k spare. Who's this one? Me, me, big T. Big, big mean T. Um, um, I, had, I, I actually. Spot. Yeah, I actually did have Opacic in there as well, um, but I'm not too sure on what centre to go at. Like, I think if Neo gets sent to DBP, I don't know if that's too light on the centre, but I'm not too sure. Confused on who to go. Yeah. That's hard. I'm sure you've been watching what I've been talking about, but I don't care too much for the centres in terms of mm. you want you want someone that's probably going to be safe in terms of making you an extra maybe 10 points a game. But yeah. It's just an annoying spot. Like, I've, I've spent money there in the past and you just get burnt. Um, yeah. If, if there is a couple of good cheapies, they come in and, and score just as much or more than the bloke you've spent 200k extra on. It's just, you, you know, and, the, and then that person has a Tedesco or, a, you know, the Smith, Tamalolo, those type, that, that kind of combo, and you just get left behind. So that's that's my general thoughts. But, um, you know, there's a couple of guys in that mid range that could go to keeper. Yeah, yeah I just see like, so much value in mids this year, eh? Like, yeah, I'm just sure. trying to stack up on mids as much as I can. Yeah. Um, we right, got a couple many. with Nathan Brown, Turpin again. Very similar top four, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is. Actually, I think it's almost exactly the same. Turpin's again TLT. Like, yeah. if no pakes, like the bro said, uh, probably won't get him. But might even try to get cheese if pakes is out. Yeah, uh, talk me through Townsend. I'm actually slightly high on him. Yeah. Worried, I'm, I'm worried after the first six rounds, I'm going to have to get rid of him. Yeah, so my idea of Townsend was, I think, uh, I forgot the stat line that I put in the chat, but I think last year when he was playing with Moylan at six, he averaged like eight points with kicking meters, and, he had, and then this year he's got goal kicks as well. Yeah. So, like, compared to Brooks, I don't think he's going to average as much as much as Brooks, but I think he's going to make more money than Brooks. Yeah, I agree. Um, with that. And then I think by the time SJ's back in, he should be decently priced. Well, I hope, but I don't know. That's just a lot. Of, a lot of people uh, disagree with me there with my Brooks versus Townsend uh, argument. Yeah, I can't even should, remember the stat line I put in the chat. With Townsend, how much are you expecting him to score? Because I, I was kind of a bit confused on, on that one. I think, uh, honestly, he misses, he misses like a decent amount of tackles, I'm pretty sure. So maybe like 35 to 40, but over eight rounds. I'm not too sure how much he makes over eight rounds. I think 35 um, 40. I'm hoping for 45. If I'm 40, yeah. <laughs> but then I think Sharks, was nice like, Sharks were like fourth on the list last year for most tries. Or was it fourth or fifth? So I That's think if you tackle. convert, yeah, if you convert that into conversions, then, you know, and then have him at about, I don't know what his career average is with conversions, but if you have him at about 70, then 70 Well, I guess it also it. depends with whether you think Sharks will go all right this year. Yeah, that was the... I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Well, price of 33, you want him to be, you want him to hit 45, although he's not yeah, worth it. 40, he's got yeah, yeah, 40, 45, yeah. After six weeks, seven weeks, however long Johnson's back. I actually can't fit Brooks in as well, though, so... Yeah, it might be one where, you, unless you're having a, a bench half, I think you you might have to... Yeah. Out. It was he's, he's not, he's not, he hasn't got the fantasy ped- pedigree as, as some of, like Brooks has. Mm. He's had seasons averaging over 50, so Townsend has never done that. How much do you reckon Lamb averages? Yeah, i kind of gone a little bit cold on him, but i still got him in my team at the moment. But I'm thinking... <laughs> Maybe mid forties, probably. Yeah, because um, Flanagan averaged quite a high last um, when he was there with goal kicks, right? Or yeah, he just yeah, kicked also kicked just kick meters. Yeah, yeah, oh, he, he kicked, kicked a kick lot. High. Tries. Oh, okay. They're a good team. So he what do you guys think about well. Harris Tavita? Oh, ah, oh, oh, same, I, same I, range. I, I yeah. like him, but the hamstrings kind of scare me a bit. 
I have a theory with him, eh? Like, I reckon Jazz starts um, hooker and then Cody could spell him and move into that because I have heard of Cody practicing in the hooker row in the preseason. Really? Okay. Yeah, I think so, uh, I'm not too sh- If he spells him, it would only be for like 10, 20 minutes. But in that 10, 20 minutes with CHT being the dominant half, that could mean, you know, 10, 20 points. Cause he, he kicks as well. Doesn't he? Yeah. Is there a kicker? Yeah, well, him or Peter Hickey, right? Conversion, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I thought I, I thought he had um a hamstring injury. It's actually quads. That's my bad. It'll be him um, then Cody for goal kicking. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Because I, I, I had him in my team. Uh, I sorry, I had him in my team up until yesterday. Like, because okay. I was looking at just going without Cleary and going heavy up, up top. Um. And then I swapped it around. But I don't know. He's, he's possibly an interesting option, like even if you had him on the bench as one of the bench halves um, because he's pretty low owned and like you got a decent amount of upside, I think, because um, he started to come good towards the end of last season. Yeah, I definitely like him. It's just there's like four options. Like out of Townsend, him, Brooks and Lamb, you can only really have two, maybe three at the most. So I'm kind of like, <laughs> don't know which two are the best. Yeah, I've seen people I mean, run, yeah, running three. Yeah, I was like, wow. Yeah. Just, but then you got someone like Michael Morgan, who I think has just been left by the wayside, even though he's probably undervalued too. But there's just so many. Guys I'm not going anywhere near there. him. Oh, mate, do not talk to me about Michael Morgan. When Andrews, I'm not in going this, anywhere when, near him, man. Oh, man let, me, let, me, let me leave. He's made <laughs> out of gloves. <laughs> when when SJ got um, injured last year, uh, before that match, I brought in, it was between Morgan and Whiten. And I'll tell you what, I made the complete wrong decision. Morgan scored a total of one points over two rounds to Whiten's oh. like 140. Mate, I'm still living off the flick pass in 2015, so. <laughs> <laughs> and 2017, where he was an absolute boss. He was going to be the best player yeah. in the game at that stage, wasn't he? He was. I, I really definitely was. think Cowboys will go better this year, though. So I think he's got upside, but I just don't trust his injuries at all. And then I think it was like two weeks ago, he, he was complaining, like had a, a slight shoulder complaint or something. Like, I forgot what it was, but I, as soon as I heard that, I'm like, no way. No way. He looked bad when he came Do you think Peter Hollow gets anything? Yeah. Do you think Peter Hollow gets any minutes at all? Or no? Sorry, T, what you um, Maybe. Do you think Peter Holler gets a look in on the bench or no? I'd say he gets a bench spot, but yeah. And I think people turned off him because yeah. they said he was like, he was training on an edge and then didn't stay yeah. there on the trial. So. Um, I've gone, I've gone Edwards over Pepin as well. Yeah. There's a bunch of guys in that middle around that price, eh? Hey? Or 300. You got Linu, Holler, Stefano. Alvaro. Yeah, yeah Alvaro. I'm, I'm really high on Alvaro if he gets a spot. Yeah, same. Yeah, if he gets a spot, a team, he'll probably be in. Farmer Sully, what do we think? Um, I don't know. He's a good, you know, he's a good player, but like, there's just... I actually have no idea. They've got all these... Yeah, I'm just confused by the Michael Dragons, Hall. to be honest. He moved there for a reason. I got to, Michael. He wanted to play more minutes. Yeah. Well, one thing is not... Kerr on an edge didn't work. Um, so I, I assume he'll go back to prop. And then that might push um, both of them back to the bench, Alvaro and uh, Farmasuli. Okay. So, hmm. we'll, see. we'll see how that pans I've, out. I've been confused by the Dragons all preseason as soon as they sold CM9. Yeah. God. What a, what From a there, I was just instant confused. <laughs> and, um, then, and then they're not even re signing Dusty as well. Like, that's possibly, you know, probably, arguably your best two players at the club. Yeah, I know. Might as well get Lomax, get rid of Lomax at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 like what the hell? Tell you what, Lomax and Pappenhausen got to be two of my and and Tamalolo obviously, but my three favorite players. Yeah, they can oh, love watching him play. No one's so skilled. Yeah, no, Lomax no one goes skilled. past Big Papali for me, bro. Oh, that yeah. mullet. He's oh. so talented. <laughs> that that uh, ankle tap last year. Um, <laughs> uh, that was with ten points in itself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, last two. Yeah, um, so, Go on, sorry, Tex Hoy? No, 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 no. Tex Hoy, yeah, wow. I've got a, yeah, well, that, uh, again, that's a huge gamble. How many rounds? There's a you? very, very big gamble. Six, Probably five. Yeah, five or six. I think he gets four. To make. 
Yeah, four would be a disaster. Four at an average of 40 would bump him up nicely. What is that? Is it, yeah, four, yeah, well, what is that? Close to 150. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. So I was, but. when I, because I've been talking about pain in the house a lot, and I was just no, saying all he needs, all he needs is to average 40. And then yep. he makes like you know, 130, 150k. That's all he needs to do. Yep. And what's the night opening fixtures? I think that's very, very possible. They got the best draw to start. Yeah, they they have the best draw Dragons, so Warriors, far. Eagles. No, I'm thinking Tigers, like, yeah, what's their opening five? Do they rush Ponga back in? Not if they're winning, I don't think. Probably not. That, yeah, what's that being like much easier teams? Do they give them maybe the full six to maybe just be like, we want you to be fully healed and not. No chance of re-injuring it, or you know. The other thing is, like these days, players come back from injuries like way faster. Like even if it's predicted for like five, he could be back like three or four. So I'm kind of that's why I'm away from Hoy at the moment. Except for the old Mm. hammies. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they 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 go the other way. (laughs) Yeah. As soon as I see a hamstring, get him out of my side now. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I've 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 really tried to go for people who like don't have weak legs. Yeah. I've tried my hardest, but I think some you just have to put him. That's fair. Uh, and then Dylan Edwards, what's the thoughts there? You think he's got some upside, or oh, just like him? I think. Uh, nah, I, I, I seriously think that he can. He will. I've said it, and it's a big call, but I think he's going to outscore Pepinhausen and Teddy in the opening three rounds. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> nah, no way. <laughs> yeah, they've got they've got the Bulldogs, Cowboys, and then they've got oh, the Storm. Yeah. So okay. I think the opening three rounds, having Dylan Edwards, I think uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Are you looking, so I think are you can, looking to trade him or is that a, a hold for the season? Yeah, uh, I'll be looking to definitely trade him for maybe Ponga. If he can make some money before Ponga gets back, then, you know. But I'll definitely be looking to keep him at least six to eight rounds so he can have that chance. Because he, he, does, he also has a very easy opening draw, I believe. Yeah, but my, my thoughts with that, with that price range is the what, RTS PAP. Brimson, you, you yeah. start, if you're starting with them, they're there for the year. That's my, my thoughts, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was... Yeah, I'm not too sure on Dylan Edwards yet. I think by by the time the round actually starts, it'll probably be Pappenhausen, but... Yeah. If, he's, if he stays 50, yeah, he, averages, he averages 50 for me, but... Yeah. I brought him in last I mean, season, towards the end of the season, and, yeah, I feel like he just... He wasn't as reliable. Like, I don't know. I yeah. think he just kind of tailed off. But I think part of the reason I'd stopped liking him was because he got rested like one of those last rounds <laughs> and uh, that pissed me off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I thought the, I thought uh, I the mean, rest I, of the big boys would too, but like Cleary and all that, they just never got rested. Mm, nah. Mm, they really I should have. If I, if I downgrade to RTS or Pepper now, I think, if I downgrade to RTS, I can afford Kelly in the centres, so... I'm oh, sure Kelly. Sure. I like Kelly this year, but I think there's just too many value options like with Avrilo, um, Roberts, and Momorowski. But otherwise, I would be going Kelly. I reckon he's he's going to be like one of the best centers. Yeah, my original setup for the team was Artis at the back and Kelly in the center. Yeah. Before I kind of tinkered and started talking to people, and they were all trying to get on Edwards, and I got on as well. I'm a sheep. <laughs> all right, guy. Any uh, any other questions we might have? Oh, uh, the whole the Welch thing. Yeah. Do we reckon Welch is um? How many minutes do you reckon he's gonna get at lock? Fifty to sixty. Oh, yeah. Sixty. Like it's gonna be pretty similar uh, well, to what it was at the end of last year. Yeah. Well, what did it? What was he getting last year? It was getting fifty to sixty. Yeah. Yeah, about fifty-five average. Does and I think he averages he averages sixty at lock, doesn't he? Minutes. No, sixty points. He played three games at lock last year, and I think he pretty much got over 55 in all of them. I'm not too sure if that's, that's correct, though. Don't quote me on it. That's a good stat. Let's have a look. The numbers don't I lie. think he did. Don't. I might be. No, that's fair. But I think. I don't think. Do we? Do we think that he? Yeah, his uh, position changes whether it's uh, front row or lock. Doesn't matter or not. Nah, I think his minutes stay the same. Do you think when Harry Grant is back, Cheese goes to lock? Yeah, I was thinking about that, Maybe. but not sure. Probably doesn't matter. I think they're all going to get a, a a good amount of minutes, and that's that's kind of what these injuries help for someone. If you if you want Welch, I just think it makes it uh, you know, very sure that you're going to get fifty five to sixty minutes. 
Yeah, it's kind of like, yeah. And his PPM is pretty good, isn't it? It's like 0. 0.91. Yeah, but look at the, like look at these games. No attacking stats, 57 minutes for 65, 61 for 56, 51 for 61, 55 for 52. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon he gets yeah. 50 a week. 50 a week would be mean. <laughs> I, just, I just don't think he's a keeper. That's my worry. If he, if he turns into a 55-pointer, then, then he's a lock for sure. But at price at 50, you might have to move him on come by schedule. Yeah, I think he keeps the lock position over uh, Finucane, though, when he comes back, because I think they're all saying that they wanted um, him on the bench to split the leadership. With, yeah, with uh, Jesse A and Jesse and Finucane coming on together. Yeah. yeah. That seems fair. I mean, that'd be huge. If he if, if Welch averages, like, you know, 50 to 55, then he's severely, severely under Yeah. And obviously, are you off him if Nelson gets named at lock instead of Welch? No. Uh, uh, not really. Um, no, I've pretty much nothing. had, yeah. Because you look like, um, if you look oh. back at these scores, Bromwich was playing, like, they had no injuries for this period, and he just got increased minutes. Yeah. I had a look at that, I was making sure that no one was out, <coughs> and then look, the final series, he, he killed it too, so. Uh, the one game he had at lock, he scored 79. Jeez. <laughs> Talking super coach? Or? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no, he scored 70, 79 in 2018 and 73 oh, minutes. Okay, so you're looking at. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, what I was looking oh, at. Try. I must have been Yeah, 40 tackles, 130 yeah. metres. Thank you. Yeah, that's. If he can get there, oh my God. <laughs> Everyone will have well, So if, 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 uh, if, if Masters, think, yeah. you know, you know, Eastern Masters, I think if he starts, I might actually bring him in. Oh, I don't know nice. if you saw him in the trial, but he looks he looks he awesome. Looks, he looks skinnier too, actually. He actually looks a little bit thinner as well. I forgot where I read it, but he was saying that last year he was like uh, had a big disrupted season and stuff, yeah. but he, he's really keen to get back into it. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a struggle. And tough opening fixtures, though. For, for, oh, is that cheese? I said some tough opening fixtures. Here he is, the cheese. See, but that's what I mean with like going Edwards over Pappenhausen. Like, if you if you look at Storm's opening three, it's, I I can't see them scoring many. Like, I can't see Pappenhausen scoring overly a lot of points because even yeah, with goal kicking, even with goal kicking, they only score like two to three tries versus those big teams. That's fair enough. Um, here we go. Some hooking games for for Smithy. 62, 63 and sixty two. Wow. 64, 64, 34. Not with 80, though. Does he keep hooker, though, with, Sorry, if what? Grant comes back? Does he keep hooker if Grant comes back, though? Nah. Nah. Okay. I don't know. No, I, I don't think so. Surely not. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I agree. I agree. Yeah. Grant, Grant, Grant's too good. He's yeah. So good. <laughs> to hit that, what, first origin yeah. game? It was like Ponga's first origin game. They both came in and just absolutely killed it. Yeah, he carried yeah. us so hard last year. Oh my god! Without him, I think. Uh, was, uh, I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it destroyed all my beats last year. New South Wales winning, uh, losing. <laughs> oh, how was that for Cleary? Lose the grand final, lose Origin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mate, C- Cody, Cody Walker is right. not Origin ready. Yeah, that'll be interesting. What happens to Cleary? <sighs> Well, do you think do you think cheese is a viable option, or do you think three weeks at hooker and then potentially going back to bench is not enough? If if Pace is named uh, on the bench, I might look at him, but I still I think McCulloch is probably better. Yeah, I yeah, really like want McCulloch. A safe a safe sixty fifty eight to sixty without any risk. I really, really. <laughs> I really yeah, like Cullen because I think plus. if we look at look at his minutes, right? There's a bunch of games in the 40s, interchange bench, and then you've got, you know, with Fanuka now, does he play 55 to 60 even in the middle? Well, would they like what would their bench look like with, when Harry Grant comes back? Do you think it'll be Nico Hines, Smith, Kami Kamika, and Showing or whoever or oh, oh, no, Ness or something like that? Ne- yeah, yeah. So, so I don't. Uh, yeah, it's tough to see where he gets some minutes. Um, but yeah, for me, I mean, price at forty for me to pick him up. Forty-five is just already pretty high. 
Yeah, yeah like, depending on who else is around that range. I don't know. Okay. And yeah, when you've got when you got Turpin, you got McCulloch, these kind of guys. It's, yeah, there's options. Kind of similar to Tino at that price. Yeah. Do we? I've got. A, I've actually got a question about the Titans. Do we reckon Aaron Clark or Tanner Boyd gets on the bench? No, I think I think Peach Peachy will play. Um, do you think Peachy takes Peachy takes minutes off range? I think maybe potentially, yeah. Yeah. If if they're gonna play it that way, then Peach is a utility. Yeah, because he was playing everywhere in that trial. I think he was playing a bit of a lot. I know he literally plays everywhere. What the hell? Yeah, is he a, is he a center option for people or not? Nah, not nah. Or if, I'm, if I'm spending that, if I'm spending that much on a center, I'd rather just go big. Oh, I'd rather get like Campbell Graham or just go big and get Lomax. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, oh, any other questions? I guys? actually, yeah. Well, what do you, what's your thoughts on Gago? I was about to oh, say, I had a look I, at Gaga actually. Yeah, you reckon he's in for a huge year? Maybe like he's playing center, like yeah, maybe back to center. Will be great. Also, Bennett was uh, giving him a bunch of uh, crap for playing uh, really well in Origin, and that club level he kind of <laughs> drops drops down. <laughs> so I think maybe maybe this year he might average that like low to mid forties potentially. Yeah. Well, he's he's priced, he's. He's 30k yeah. more expensive than Kelly, so I don't know if I try find the 30k to get him in or not. I can definitely see him scoring like 40, 45, 46. Man, those are some points, eh? For, yeah, for center. That's that's top line keeper. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just trying to avoid spending money in centers at the yeah. moment, like at the start of the season. Yeah, just 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 see what shakes and, out. He yeah. does have dual position though, which is interesting. Yeah. Oh, that is, that is. That's a very slow start because he's on the wing and then he moves to center and he scores amazing. So, interesting. You could potentially, um, if you if, if there's an option at fullback where you want to like downgrade someone like Tedesco or Edwards or someone to him, you could use that and then use your cash somewhere else potentially. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, that's, yeah that's definitely. Say, there's a lot of options, hey? Around yeah, there's way like, too many. Way too many. You got the trail <laughs> yeah. at 490. What do you think of the Oh, trail? don't. Oh, um, trap trail. <laughs> Don't talk about him. I can't. I'm so 50 50 on him. His, his handling oh. is heavy. <laughs> I'm going to hate to watch him uh, play oh no. and not have him in my team. But the thing is, his base stats are so bad that I just can't justify like bringing him in. I just can't do it. Yeah, he but, needs like two try assists or a try every game to be scoring over 40. Yeah, it's, it's like one of those ones you have him in your team and he scores 18 to 20 for like five weeks. You trade him out and then he scores 100. Yeah, it's going to happen. He did, he, I will say he does look better, though, at fullback now. He seems to be... Yeah, um, he, he looks more confident. Yeah. That's fair. I think it's an, yeah, he's a decent option in that little mid-range if there's no Laurie and, you know, there's no, no real options down there. Yeah. If you've got Laurie and stuff starting, what? I think you've got to... Yeah. Oh, surely they start Laurie. Surely. He looks good. <laughs> oh, and by rubbish. Good. Please start Laurie as a Tigers fan. Please. And by on the bench? Oh. And by uh, 14. Yeah, it could be utility. Mm. But and by 14 would be bad though, right? For a little. Oh, uh, I don't think so. I think it would more be like he plays maybe 20 minutes, if that, and then he kind of just slots him wherever there's an injury. I think Simkin on the bench <coughs> is worse for little. That's yeah. true, actually, yeah. Like, would it you, might, it think, might be 50 30, whereas yeah. it's at least 60. You'd expect at least 60 by himself or with M by. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But would you go both uh, Simpkins and Little though, if it if they're both named? I just I just see it being 60, I still see it being sixty twenty to start. Yeah, I still think both of them make a decent I, yeah, I twenty Simpkins, minutes. Of, I reckon Simpkins is like Tiger's future hooker, so I feel like. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know, but the two trials I watched of him, he's it's super exciting. I reckon he'll he'll get some more minutes. Yeah, it'd be interesting. One. As I said, it could be one if he's playing 30 to 40 over the first couple of rounds, you just bring him in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, how, how many hookers do you want to have on your bench? Like we got, if you're that's true. Yeah. Riley, Little, <laughs> oh, well, Turpin, yeah, well, that, like, that's, that's, that's another true. thing you got to take Seven. into account. Then you don't have cover for you, other positions. Yeah, yeah you, want you don't want to compromise your cover. cover. Yeah. That's, what, that's the only on justification on, uh, for Avarillo I'd have is the, the fact that, that he covers half and center. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very helpful. Um, yeah, cool, guys. We happy with that? 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Thanks so much for uh, yeah. for coming on, guys. And we'll uh, we'll put the plug yeah, in. Just make sure you hit like and subscribe, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and and we'll uh, see you in the next one. Cheers, fellas. All right. See you later. See you, mate. Good luck on Teamless Tuesday. <laughs>